All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. And today we are going to be doing a quick showcase slash preview of the brand new STR Transforming Cooler. Sorry, Kefla. For all my fellow global players out there. Man, why do I keep doing that? That's like the third time I've said that in a video. Anyways, hopefully this video will help you guys decide whether or not you want to spend your hard-earned Dragonstones to try and pull her. Once her banner comes out, I have been getting quite a few people telling me that while they really, really want her, they're just a little bit unsure about what to do because we have the download celebration around the corner. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. And of course, as we go through the showcase, I will be giving you guys all the details for her different phases from base form to Super Saiyan 1 and eventually Super Saiyan 2. By the way, quick side note. How amazing does that sticker effect look on this Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, man? I mean, it's gotta be one of the best in the game, for sure. I love it. Anyways, let's get back on track, jumping into the gameplay here. And this first rotation, we've got her linked up with the LR Kaelin Khalifla. She's starting off with 131,000 defense, which is really good. And we'll give him a couple orbs, and she should be able to get more than six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine orbs. Okay, more than enough to activate her full passive. And a couple orbs for them. Doesn't really matter. Here we go. First turn, first super. Let's see what she can do. Okay, so we're taking a super here. Shouldn't be too bad. 11k, that's fine. Now, as far as the base form goes, her super attack raises attack and causes immense damage and lowers defense. Whoa, 3.18 million on the first super. And the additional Goku's dead, damn. Okay, that was, that was quite an entrance she made right there. I was expecting some good numbers. I, I was not expecting that much though. I was not expecting that much. So as you guys can see, um. Kefla is really good. <laughs> She's really, really freaking good. And uh, of course, like I said, she raises attack on every single super. So, I mean, she's just getting started. But anyways, uh, her passive uh, in base form is defense plus 100%, attack plus 100% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 50%, and high chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack, with six or more key spheres obtained. So she is at her best with six or more key spheres, which usually is not super easy to get. I would recommend everybody to run her with an orb changer, at least one or two, so that we can you can guarantee that she gets the orbs and uh, can get her full passive, right? So yeah, six or more key spheres obtained for the extra attack and also the high chance to dodge. She transforms when conditions are met. And the only condition for the first transformation is that you have to be on the third turn or beyond, like right now. So there's the first transformation, looking amazing. Yo, all of our animations are really good, even the you know short transformation ones, but especially the super attacks. That active skill is amazing too. I just love everything about this unit, I'll be honest, man. I'm a big fan. I'm a big, big fan of this unit. So now what should we do? I don't want... I want her to get the fierce battle link, but at the same time, uh, I don't want him to kill Goku. He probably won't, right? Goku should probably survive this. Okay, so we'll give three orbs to him. And she has how much defense here? Uh, 175,000. Damn, 175,000 for the Super Saiyan Kefla. And she'll get a lot of orbs there. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine orbs. So still getting that full passive. And uh, there we go, okay. Let's see what happens here. Now we got the double support, right? 40% plus 50%. And she also raised attack last turn. Did I? Did I just? Did I see that right? 5.4 million? 5.4 mil. I, I swear. I saw it wrong. There must have been a mistake. 5.4 mil. Okay. <laughs> what else is there for me to say, man? I mean, seriously, like, what else is there for me to say? 
She's insane. She's an insane TUR. Um, definitely one of the best in the game. I don't think she's the best, I'll be honest. I do think that Gohan's better. I do think that Fizz Vegito Blue is still better. Um, Cooler is probably still better, but she's she's top five. No question. She's probably number four, I would say. I would have to think, think about that a little bit more. But yeah, she's, she's right up there with the best TURs in the game. So on this turn, we have no supports, but still getting over 3 million just casually without a single support on rotation. Wow. Okay, um, so for her... <laughs> For Super Saiyan 1 form, all right, once she transforms, her new passive, so she still raises attack on the super, her new passive is defense plus 150%, attack plus 150% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 50%, and high chance of evading enemies attack including super attack, with 6 or more key spheres obtained, transforms when conditions are met, and she transforms upon entering the next attacking turn when HP is 60% or more. So next turn we will get the final transformation, but uh, in the Super Saiyan 1 form, man, she's already blowing my face off. That sounds kind of weird. She's blowing my mind, honestly, guys. Like, I was not expecting these kinds of numbers. Like, this is stupid. This is ridiculous. And uh, as you can see, man, we can consistently get the um, you know, six or more key spheres because of the orb changing here. So I definitely recommend you guys to bring orb changers, at least one, possibly two. And man, we can pop the active skill this turn, but it feels like a bit of a waste. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, let's just, let's just give her a bunch of orbs here. Yeah, let's give her a bunch of orbs. We'll save the active skill for later. And, uh, as a Super Saiyan 2 Kefla, she gets key plus two. Defense plus 160%, attack plus 160% when performing a super attack, and also high chance of evading enemies attack including super attacks. And here she actually launches an additional super, guaranteed, with 6 or more key spheres. But unfortunately, we actually don't, uh, you know, the Goku's gonna die, so we don't really have the ability to launch an additional super. But just know that she would have gotten 2 supers guaranteed, alright, if she, you know, wasn't gonna kill the Goku here, which she is going to. So 3.8 mil, obviously number is not as high, but it would have been a double super, so it still would have been overall more damage. And look at that animation, man, it's so nice. It's such a nice animation. And uh, as far as her active skill goes, she, you know, the active skill is called, I didn't notice this actually. The active skill is called Let's, Let's Wreck Some Faces. Is that legit or is, is, is Dokkan Wiki like trolling me? It actually says here, active skill, let's wreck some faces. All right, <laughs> that's edgy, that's edgy. So um, it changes Fizz Key Spheres to STR Key Spheres, attacks effective against all types for one turn, and uh, can be activated when there's a Pure Saiyans or Universe Survival Saga category enemy, which of course is pretty common because there's a lot of Pure Saiyans um, enemies, units in the game, right? So you should be able to get this off pretty often. So changes Fizz to STR, I'm going to save that for now as well. But uh, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, so 6 key spheres there. That's going to be a guaranteed additional super. And uh, why not? I'll just give a couple to, to Kale and Khalifa as well. And let's see what you can do here with the double super. We got the 40% support, of course. So 3.29 mil for the first super attack. A second super will be more because, of course, she still raises attack on super, so we're up to 3.44 now, and uh, since she is rainbowed, we have the potential to launch a third super, so let's see if that happens. I don't think we've had an additional super yet, so not there. Oh, you know what, I should have checked the, I should have checked the defense. She's probably gonna, she's probably around, I'm gonna say 200k, maybe 180 or something like that, but more than enough, really. Like, she's not gonna be the best tank out there, but she's gonna be a very, very serviceable tank. Um, she's not going to be taking too much damage at all. So let's see. Uh, 165. Okay, 165k. Not bad at all, though. Not bad at all. Okay, so should I pop the active skill on this turn is my question. Maybe I should. I'm kind of feeling it. I'm kind of feeling it. Hmm. Um, okay, so we'll give one key sphere to him first. And yeah, let's, let's just pop this active seal. Let me pop my music real quick. Or just pop my music. Pause my music real quick. And I'm going to turn up the game volume. 
There we go. Hopefully it's loud enough for you guys. And enjoy. Yo, it's so good, man. Everything about this unit is so good. Okay, um, so she's gonna be getting, you know, all those key spheres. Definitely gonna be getting that double super. And uh, we'll just give these to her. Doesn't really matter too much. So, yeah, this actually might kill the God Coup. If, if we. If we get lucky and get a crit too, we'll probably kill him, right? Okay, anyways, 3.63, right? Of course, attacks effective against all, so it should be a good hit here. 1.92, all right, 3.79 for the second super. And you know what, we're probably not gonna kill him, but we'll we'll at least do some good damage here. He's halfway dead. All right, there's, this, there's the third super. I was hoping for the third super. I don't wanna say anything, I don't wanna jinx it. I was like, we're probably gonna get a third super at some point in this showcase, right? So we didn't kill him, but wow, okay, I was gonna say, I, I wanted to see what her tanking was like, but uh, apparently we don't get to see that because she just dodged it. She still has the high chance to dodge, of course, which is 50%, and that's the same for all three phases. Um, one difference, actually, is that her super attack on the uh, at, at Super Saiyan 2 massively lowers the enemy's defense. That's an 80% debuff for three turns. 80% debuff for three turns, which is huge. Um, should I pop it here as well is the question. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna save it for now. So 152,000 defense, that's more than enough to survive here. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get the additional super because we didn't get six or more key spheres, but um, you know what, Goku's probably still dead. I, I doubt he's gonna survive um, the Kefla super. If he does, then Kellen Khalifa will finish the, finish the job. Yeah, I was thinking about this actually. I was thinking about this. Uh, with the release of Kefla now, and also the awakenings for the tech Khalifa and uh, STR Kale, the base ones, Heavy Gals is like a, a gonna be a really good category, man. Like that team they can build with the Kale and Khaliflas. Um, with the Keflas, like, that's gonna be a really good team. So, I'm excited to test that out. Expect a showcase for that very soon. Um, man, I, I need to, I need to, yeah, we're gonna do that for Kaba, because he's, he's not gonna have a good time there. And, can we still get six, is the question. Um, how do I play this properly? So, if we give these to him, and there we go. Yeah, okay, so we got six here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, actually. So seven there. Let's get a couple supers off with the Kefla, and then uh, we're gonna call it a day. That's gonna be it, guys. I've seen plenty. I'm sure you've seen enough to be impressed. If not, then why not? Why not? You gotta be a Kefla hater to not be impressed by what you, what you see here. 5.5 mil <laughs> for this super. Of course, a second one on the way. So 3.68 crit, 5.77 for that second one. And if we get a third one, then Goku's probably dead. Like she might just solo. Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Uh, but still, that was crazy. That was what, 5.5 followed by 5.7. That's 11.2 mil attack on that turn with the two supers. And uh, I got nothing else to say, guys. I got nothing else to say. I'm done. It's I'm, I'm good. Um, hmm. Should I pop the active skill? Yeah, why not? Let's pop the active skill there. Pop the active skill. We'll change some orbs. We'll do some good damage. And you know what? I'm gonna wait for one more turn. I, I want the other Kef. Let's come back for another turn. And then that's where we're gonna call the showcase. Okay, so take those. We'll wow. Uh, token attack, man. I should have saved it for the other Kefla though. Yeah, because the other Kefla I think is built up more. So it would have been more impressive there. But it doesn't really matter. It's not a huge deal. Let me just focus here, get all of these little numbers here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Nice. This should definitely kill him. 
we have 2.68 mil attack only, which is not the not the not the greatest, not the highest, but uh, we do have, we do get attacks affecting against all types, so it's gonna hit really hard. He's gotta die here. There's no way he's surviving this. There's no way he's surviving this. There we go, and he's dead. All right, last turn, guys. Last turn of the showcase. Um, this Kefla for me is a must-have. All right, no question. I'm gonna go hard for her. At least to get the one copy. Like, I don't wanna, I'm not gonna go crazy, you know, whale mode like I did before. But uh, we're definitely gonna go at, at least until we get one copy. Maybe a dupe. Maybe a dupe. I'm thinking about that. But I'm not leaving without a copy. I'm not leaving this banner without a copy. So, yeah, we'll just give him one here so she can get six there, right? For that double super. And uh, that's gonna be the showcase, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun, I'll be honest, just because she's she's such a crazy unit. And, uh, you know, like I said, the summons will be happening. So if you're interested in watching those, you wanna stay tu up, to, up to date or stay tuned for more content on the channel, then make sure to smash that subscribe button, join the Tiger Squad now, and also hit that notification bell that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and uh, also if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like the damn video and that's all I gotta say man that's all I gotta say hope you guys are having a fantastic day hope you continue having a fantastic day I will see you guys very very soon in the next video let me just put Kefla on the screen before we go there she is yo how dope is that sticker man that that looks so good that looks so good. I just wish you could turn off that diamond pattern in the back, but it doesn't bother me. It doesn't it doesn't bother me that much? Just a little bit. But uh, either way, it looks awesome. So that is today's video, guys. That is the showcase. Thank you so much for watching once again. Uh, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.